you know what? You, if you can go back, which I can't tell you to go back and watch all my videos. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I even said a month or two ago that I know exactly what had happened to me, that God had uh, given that what God had done. And isn't it strange that I start talking about a topic? I've actually got a video on my phone where I was, where I read 1 Corinthians 5.5 5, before I even found that video on YouTube. Now, I, I, I don't, believe me, if I miss say something, believe me, I would not lie about it. But I did say this a month or two ago, saying that uh, that I had believed that God had done that to destroy the flesh because he, I had heard about that scripture. Now, isn't it weird that when I said that a couple of months ago, that it was actually a year or two ago when I even, you know, three or four years ago, I can't tell you how many years ago it's been since I woke up being choked. Now, isn't it weird that I would even sit here and talk about that three or four years ago if people were watching my videos back then and then to find that video today talking about on the front of the cover where somebody was being choked by a demon. And guess what I did just a second ago? I even Googled somebody being choked by a demon. G Google it. Google it. And I even, uh, there's a, there's a website like quota or quote something. Uh, I can't look it up while I'm, while I'm actually on my phone, but I subscribe to this channel or I think I used, uh, Google to be linked with this channel. And I saw where somebody made this comment and somebody said it was because of fear. And I said, no, you're wrong. It's not because of fear. I didn't feel if I feared if I feared, I wouldn't be out here living a wicked life. That's right. If I feared, I wouldn't be living a wicked life because I know who can take my soul and cast it into the into, into everlasting damnation. That's right. But don't think I'm sitting here saying that as if I don't care what God thinks. You're mistaken. You're mistaken. But can you imagine that I talked about this two or three or four or five years ago. It may, have been, it may have even been before I took that year off in Oklahoma City that I even talked about that this is what happened to me. And it wasn't maybe three or four months ago that I even made a comment in a video, one, two, three or four months ago that I even made a comment in a video of what had happened, what God, why God allowed this to happen. Isn't it strange that I would, that I would look up that First Corinthians five five, read from by uh, Bible study tools, then I would make another video of the video I just got done uploading. It is crazy. Yeah, yeah, I know what man. I'm gonna tell you. But why? And I'm gonna ask this again. Why isn't this happening to everybody? Because it's not just sexual sexual immorality. Because r realize this, realize this, that that scripture you're seeing, 1 Corinthians 5.5, 5, is about sexual immorality. But it's not just sexual immorality. And even in that video that I found where a guy was, where somebody was being ch choked while they were asleep, what made this person think that it was because somebody was going to be choked? I've had sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis is not the same thing. When I had sleep paralysis, I did not feel like I was being choked. All I know is that I woke up and I felt like I could not move at all. It is not the same thing. It's not the same thing. Now, do I think it could be demon involved? Hell yeah, I do. Heck yeah, I do. But it had nothing to do with me being choked. I 
I never woke up feeling like I was being choked and I had sleep paralysis. And all this is, is to wake somebody up about their sin nature, their sin life. I'm going to, I'm going to say it again. If you want to keep on listening to liars out there, tell you there's nothing wrong with sin. You're going to be making a big mistake, man. I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to be making a big mistake. Why would God allow other people, including myself, to witness this? I mean, if you think you can't lose salvation, go ahead and do all kinds of sexual immorality. That doesn't mean God's going to do it to you either. Let you let you have it. Uh, no. I mean, here I am giving a, a friggin' testimony here of what happened in my life. And I know exactly what I was doing. Whatever I wanted to do. What about the time when I made a comment the last few times I smoked marijuana where I thought my vision was getting worse and worse and worse? Huh? Well, there, I'm, throwing, I'm, I'm giving you a testimony here right now. Do you think I was BSing you? Do you, does anybody think that I was BSing them when I sit here and said that the last few times that I was smoking marijuana, that I, that I almost felt like my vision was getting worse and worse? Why would that happen? Let me ask you. What, let me ask you, what was happening to those people in the old, uh, in, with that Jesus was healing and, and they were committing sin? It was because of their sin. I'm going to have to move over, man. I don't know why this guy's not moving over, man. I mean, I realize we're doing 70 and a 65, but we got a whole bunch of cars, impatient people behind us. I mean, I'm just trying to point something out here. I've never lied about this shit, man. I mean, man, why? Why would I have ever sit here and said I woke up feeling like I was being choked? Huh? Huh? What would I have gained? What, what what do you think that I would have been sitting here saying this? And I didn't even know what it was about. Until now. God doing that to destroy the flesh. I haven't learned my lesson though. No, I haven't. If I had learned my lesson, then I would have my sin life under control. When I don't, I've already sit here and said that that I'm living every day. Here, here, bear with me. Disobedient, unbelieving Jeff. I'm waking every day. The first thing I do, smoke a friggin' cigarette. Unbelieving, disobedient Jeff to smoke a cigarette. Do you think that God convicted me for nothing? I even saw another guy out here on YouTube that was smoking bit cigarettes in his videos, warning people. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not lying either. There'd be nothing for me to gain by, by sitting here saying that. Am I saying shame on you? No. I'm saying shame on me. I got to turn my AC off because for some reason, ever so often, my AC quits working and it's all I have to do is turn it off for about 10 minutes. Right now, it's 102 degrees. Uh, it's not 102 degrees out right now. I promise you that. It's probably 95 I don't think people realize what 95 degree weather does to me. 
after having a heat stroke. I mean, my front AC was working. It wasn't working very well. I might as well turn it off and let it, let it do its thing and then turn it back on, turn my AC on in the, in the bunk and I'll be cool again. But right now, all it's going to do is quit working. I might as well suffer now. I never lied about any of this. Never witnessed that video in my entire life. How this person ever put it together, a demon choking someone when they were laying down in bed is beyond me. Unless this person witnessed where people were saying that this is what happened. And by the way, do you know what that person said that said it was because of fear? Do you know what that person said? To ask in Jesus name. That's the very first thing I did. I, I mean, my, I'm going to say it again. I elevated off that damn bunk bed. The first thing I said is in Jesus name. That's the first thing I said. I mean, I'll take a lie detector test about that, but I ain't going to talk. You know, why stoop down to anybody's level? If people think that the only way you're going to think that I'm telling the truth is a lie detector test, well, enjoy. Enjoy wondering if I'm telling you the truth. I mean, a lot of this stuff, when you talk about giving a message about God, is supposed to be by testimony. You think I lied about this? Come on, guy. I'm flashing my brights over. Come on, guy. Here, never mind. Never mind. Evidently, I'm too nice, and I'm not going to sit there. I'm not going to wait for you. I'm not going to do 50 mile an hour to let you come out doing 65. No way. Sorry, sir. If you're not going to keep your eyes open, I don't know what to say, man. I don't do that. Homie, don't play that game. Like I said, how many of y'all think that I'm such a bad, mean person? Yeah. Nowadays, nobody flashes you out, but once in a blue moon, I flash people out all the time. Most people are not even looking. If you were riding on somebody's butt out here driving and you looked over I mean, you were like, man, I don't have much room. I, wouldn't you look out the mirror? And if you see somebody flashing their lights, doesn't that mean get your butt out here and go? Yep, that's exactly what it meant. I learned that going on vacation with my grandparents years and years when I was like 10 years old. Here I am, 49 years old. Here I am, flashing another person out. Come on, buddy. Hey, do you see the truck actually coming out onto the road? Hey, do you see the 18-wheeler putting this blinker on? Hey, look, you see me flashing my brights? About 50 times. Yeah, I mean, who cares? Just don't even worry. Don't even look out your life mirror to see if somebody's flashing you over. I'm going to tell you right now, this is insanity, dude. God, I want away from this shit, and I mean now. I mean, now, I want away from this shit. If you think I'm going to stay out here to the last minute till the shit hits the fan, you've got another person. You've got the wrong person. You needed to get Job to come around. I'm not Job. Get mad all you people want. I am not Job. My name's Jeff, and it's not Job. A hundred, I mean, I'm literally. Thank goodness I got my tennis shoes off. No socks. 
I'm going to tell you right now, I know what gets hot when you have, when, when you get hot out here, I know what gets hot. Your feet, if you got a hell, you got a hat on. Here, are you satisfied? Can you hear me now? Man. Yeah, I never lied about this. I cannot believe to find a video. And why did I even Google that? Hey, I want you to think about this. <laughs> you think there's a reason why God wanted me not to, not to bail off and not to do his work? I may be a dumbass. I may have backslidden, but do you think there's a reason why? Like I said, did I say I was any better than anybody else? I could just imagine. He's boasting. He's bragging, everybody. Hey, he's boasting and bragging. Ah! Ah! He's boasting and bragging. Ah! Ah! He's boasting and bragging. My whole entire family has had heart issues. My blood pressure has always been below average. I thank you, Lord, because I'm going to tell you right now, the way I act, the way as pissed off as I've been in nine years, yeah, I'm surprised it just don't fall over dead. Can you imagine somebody admitting that this is a blessing to witness thing, this from God? Can you imagine that? Huh? Wake up, everybody! I don't want people to wake up find out they were wrong one day. There's my end of my day, Whiteville, Virginia. Woo! -hoo. You can't get here quick enough, baby. You can't get here quick enough. That's where I'm calling it a day. And then I'm going to Rome, New York. Upstate New York. Literally, I flashed that guy. Uh, oh, I over-exaggerated, maybe not 50 times. An 18-wheeler got his blinker on, getting ready to come on the highway. He's on the shoulder. He should have waited until there was nobody there, but for some reason, and I'm just sitting here. With my, my bright stem, bright stem, bright stem, bright stem, bright stem, bright stem, bright stem. I should be saying I can't thank God enough for him allowing these things to happen if I could ever get myself under control. Huh? Well, I'm done with this video. Unbelievable. Unbelievable that I would ever run across a video of 1 Corinthians 5.5 5 on YouTube, seeing a person be choked by a demon. Are you kidding me?
also people come to repentance. Are you kidding me? That's what that's all about is so come somebody come to repentance to turn away from God. I mean, to, to turn away from darkness. Sorry, everybody. I can't delete this video. I mean, I'm not deleting this friggin' video. I mean, I would like to eventually turn on my AC, but I'm still burning up. Yeah, to come out of the darkness and into the light, to turn from the flesh to the spirit so they won't be doing the things of the flesh if they're walking, if they're being led by the spirit. Yeah, this is what takes a person from the law of sin and death. Well, it may be hard to believe that everybody out here that professes to be saved is being led by the Holy Spirit. Okay, everybody, I see you behind me. All the impatience. I'll move over. I'll let you all go by. I do it all the time. You guys caught up to me. See, I'm not mean. I don't just stay in the left-hand lane for miles upon miles. I finally saw these cars that caught up with me. Now y'all can go. Hey! Let me give him the peace sign. Still taking forever to get by me. <laughs> I gotta say it again before I end the video. I never lied to a single soul. No joke. 